Hello guys and welcome back to Smart Spade Information Technology Blog. So today we're gonna guys start learning a Python for beginners, advanced and professional level. So I'm gonna start from uh, setting up a local programming environment, which is mostly is gonna be working on a Windows 10. So pre-requirements for this tutorial is gonna be you will have to have Windows 10 installed on the computer with administrative access that is connected to the internet. So if you're interested, stay with me and we're gonna start. So from the start, we have to find out where is the PowerShell. The PowerShell, that's the command, uh, command line where we're gonna perform all our commands and installation during this tutorial. So first of all, we have to go to the PowerShell. So to find out the PowerShell, you can go to top left corner in the Windows 10 and find the search bar and just type PowerShell. And you're gonna find the PowerShell, the first one listing from the top. Uh, but be careful that you have to run the PowerShell from the administrative right. By right clicking on it, just click Run as Administrator and it's gonna pop up that if you will allow this application to make changes to your device, you should click yes, and you're gonna see the white, um, you're gonna see the, the blue screen, which is uh, from the top bar is saying administrating Windows PowerShell. That's the main window where we're going to work and install all our Python tree. So the first time that you log on to your PowerShell, you gonna see the, uh, you should see the C drive, Windows directory, and the system directory. But we gonna prefer our install from the user folders and the user directory. So in my case, it's gonna be my folder name under the user directory. In your case, it's gonna be the name of your user that you would like to perform installation into this folder. So by accessing to that folder, you just simply need to type cd space and tilde uh, sorry tilde and hit enter and you're gonna be switched out to the user directory and then yeah the name of the folder of the user that you would like to perform installation. To continue with our installation process, we are going to set up some permission for the PowerShell. Configure to run it the most secure mod by default. There are a few levels of permission that you can set up as an administrator. So the first one is restricted. The second one is all assigned. The third one is remote sign. And the fourth one is unrestricted. So we're going to use the one is remote sign. The remote sign permission will let you run script and configuration file downloaded from the internet signed by trusted publisher. And again, opening your your machine up to vulnerabilities if there is a trusted script or actually is malicious so we are going to use this remote site permission but the first of all we need to type this command set execution policy space dash scope current user and as soon as you hit enter it's gonna prompt you to specify which exactly permission you want to assign so like i said before that we're going to assign remote sign so just type it in remote sign Check your spelling and see it's starting as a camel, the R capital and IS capital. And as you hit enter, it's gonna prompt you if you wanna, if you sure that you wanna change the permission by clicking Y, by typing Y and hit enter, you specifying that you would like to use remote sign permission. Let's say that you want to confirm that it's working by asking for the current permission across the machine by typing the following command. So the command is going to be is get dash execution 
execution policy and space dash list by this command you can verify that um, you should receive the output that looks like this so uh, the first one is uh, machine policy undefined user policy undefined process undefined by the current user you should see remote sign as I am right now that means you have change permission policy to remote sign next step is going to be is installation of the package manager chocolatey a package manager is a collection of software tools that work to automate installation process that includes the initial installation upgrading and configuration of software and removing software as needed they keep software installation in its central location and can maintain all the software package on the system in the format that are commonly used. Chocolatey is a command line package manager built for Windows that work like AppGet uh, for the Linux, available on the open source version. Chocolatey will help you quickly install applications and tools, and we will use it to download what we need for our download environment. So, to install a sub chocolatey, first we need to run the script. The script lets read and read it confirm that we are happy with the changes it will make to our machine. To do this, we will use the .NET script framework to download and display the chocolatey script with a terminal window. We will create a web client object called script. You can call it whatever you want as long as you use dollar sign as the first character that shares internet connection setting with the internet explorer. Like I said before, you have to type the first dollar sign and after type the name you would like to create for this particular chocolatey. So I'm going to name script but in your case, you can name it my script or whatever, anything, any, whatever you like to name it. So, script, then you have to type space, equal, space, new, uh, dash, object, then space, uh, dot, net, then after that, now, uh, net, my bad, sorry, net, and after that, web client. I'm not gonna hit enter because I already installed this script, so it's gonna just duplicate in my case. But you can, whatever you start finish your typing, just hit enter, just hit, sorry, just hit enter, and it's gonna prompt you, and it's gonna, it's gonna give you access to the client script that you just created but after that you should type the next command dollar sign the name that you have created I created a script name script then after space then you have to type pipe get member mem mem so whenever you Hit enter, uh, look over output, and you can identify the download string method that we can use to display the script, script and the signature in the PowerShell window. Now we can install the chocolatey by typing the following command IWR space HTTPS uh, choco. And after uh, forward slash install dot ps1 space dash you use bas basic base use basic uh, parsing parsing. And after that, you just type space pipe space IEX. 
and whenever you finish typing just hit enter and you're gonna be installing the chocolatey on your windows machine the cmd led iwr or invoke web request allow us to extract the data from the web this will pass the script the iex or invoke expression command led which will execute the content on the script running the installation script for the chocolatey package manager once it's fully installed we can begin installing additional tools with the choco command if we if you need to check the if the version of chocolatey at uh, in the, in the version of chocolatey you can just type the following command i'm going to erase this because i already installed it and uh, the, uh, just type the choco uh, read cho um choco lady chocolatey and hit enter and it's gonna check if your chocolatey version is up to date uh, by upgrading your accept license for the packages chocolatey upgrades your package one set a login detail and it show you the folder when the upgraded version has been installed so the next step is going to be installation of the text editor which is calling nano the nano text editor that is used a command line interface which we can use to write a program directly with a powershell this is not a compulsory step as you can naturally use the text editor with a graphical user interface such as notepad plus plus or anything like that but nano will get us more accustomed to using powershell so let's use a chocolate uh, chocolate, chocolate command to install our nano uh, text editor. So first, this is choco command install and type dash y nano. I'm not gonna hit enter because I already installed it. I don't want to just duplicate it, but I want to explain what is it. Um, Chaka, Chaka means Chaka we use it for automation installation. Install means means installation, and uh, dash y is is a flag that we can confirm automatically that we want to run the script without being prompted. So it's not gonna ask you just all the time that you want to run the screen, run the screen, you like this, run the screen. By typing the uh, dash y um, extension after install, um, you just uh, let us just skip this step and it's just whenever you're gonna use the nano editor, it's not gonna prompt you all the time that you like to use to run the Python screen. So uh, whenever you just finish your typing, just hit hit enter after choco install and y nano and you're gonna be installing the nano text editor once nano text editor is installed we will be able to use the nano command to create a new text file and we'll eventually use it to write our first python program so the next step is going to be to install a python on your windows machine so by the following next command we got to install a Python 3. I'm going to erase this because I already installed it. So by using Choco Automated as um, automation, we can use install like we did previously with another text editor. Choco install type again y, uh, dash y and Python. Python 3. I'm not going to explain again what is the stands for uh, with the dash y extension because uh, if you if you want to experiment just um, just keep uh, the y, uh, dash y extension uh, after the install uh, work and you're gonna see it's gonna prompt you that if you want to confirm that you would like to install it uh, either in the fire Python tree or if you still uh, working on a nano installation text editor is gonna probably if you'd like to install nano text editor to be installed in your Windows machine. 
Uh, I'm just prefer to skip that steps, and uh, uh, that's why I'm using this dash y extension command. So whenever you hit enter after chalk install uh, space uh, dash y Python tree, uh, you're gonna be installing Python tree right in your on your computer, uh, which is Windows 10. Alongside Python. Pipe will be installed, which will manage software packages for Python. Let's ensure that Pipe is up to date by upgrading it. Let's type the following command Python space dash m pipe install and space uh, w dash upgrade upgrade and right. I'm not gonna hit enter because I already installed it in upgrade. In your case, just have to you have to just click upgrade, and it's gonna check if the pipe is up to date. If it's not, it's gonna upgrade it. If it is, then you should be good, and it's just gonna skip upgrade step and gonna tell you which version you are currently have installed. Then we have chocolatey not a text editor and python install on our windows machine we can go on to create our programming environment with a when module when module is a virtual environment that enables you to have an isolated space on your computer for python projects so first of all we need to create a directory where you would like to store this environment or folder so I'm right now in directory that I have just created, but if you want to go back, if you want to go back, um, let's assume that you right now are your users and uh, uh, the name uh, and the user folder that you see the the, <clears throat> the name of your uh, current uh, user folder. My name is Alex, this, which is my name. In your case, is going to be any other name. So right now we have to create. The, the directory for this particular uh, virtual environment. I have created already, as you can see that I just uh, <coughs> uh, go back from that <coughs> folder. But you have to, if you would like to create, just use a mkgir command and the name um, of your folder. In my case, I have created an uh, environment folder. So I'm going to I'm going to go up to this uh, environment folder that I have just created and inside of this folder we are going to uh, we are going to use our uh, virtual environment that we're gonna create inside this folder so let's um, let's create uh, um, our environment Of the environment that you would like to call it. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it as my environment. In your case, you can name it your environment, the name or your, or your uh, first and last and whatever pet's name, anything you like to name it. So it just should have the name so that is called so it's gonna be recall it to that particular virtual environment file. I'm not gonna create anything because I already created this environment. I can create the other one. I just wanna. I just don't wanna um, make so many environments inside of my phone because I don't. I don't wanna mix them up. You just guys create the environment and hit enter. And if you wanna list the environment, just click ls space and the name of the environment that you just created. My case is gonna be my environment. And if I'm gonna hit enter, I'm going to see that uh, when it was last time used, the date uh, I had created this uh, environment today, uh, uh, you're gonna see the length name, the LID scripts, and um, CVG file. All you need to see is right inside of this 
environment. To be able to use your environment, you need to activate it, which you can do by tapping the following command that call the activation script and the scripts directory that we just created. In your case, you can you probably create a different name on the scripts, but as you remember that I have created the scripts under the scripts name. So type the following command by replacing for the names that you created. So in my case, like I said before, I have named it as the my environment, then uh, backward slash scripts, backward slash activate. Check your spell because uh, the PowerShell is pretty sensitive to the to the mistakes or spelling. Um, any letter capital it's it's like on the it's like on the Linux but I'm so sensitive to that <clears throat> to the to the spelling and the PowerShell as well so check your spelling and whenever you check your spelling hit enter my environment that's the name of the environment that you call it in your case could be different the script the script of the name of the script that you before created and activate whenever you activate you should see the one line as I have seen right now in front of my eye. You're gonna be promoted will uh, <clears throat> will be prefixed with the name of your environment. In my case, it's my environment. As you can see that I have prefixed my environment. It's highlighted with a green color. It means that I'm right now inside of my environment folder. Now that we have our virtual environment set up. So we can create our simple uh, program. For instance, we can say in the Python "Hello World" like uh, in any other languages. That's going to be our first program in Python. And let's make sure uh, that our environment is working and give us the opportunity to become more familiar with the Python if we want or not already. So let's uh, let's go create the uh, text file with it. Uh, let's create a uh, text file with a Py extension uh, to the Nada text editor that we uh, installed previously. So, Nano space um, hello.py. And it's gonna <coughs> uh, redirect you to the to, to, to the to the file text editor and as you can see that I have already inserted the <coughs> uh, print hello word in the Python uh, you just uh, you can just copy and paste this file from uh, from the description below uh, or if you're more familiar with the uh, Python you, you you are welcome to type anything to check this out but in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the basic steps of setting up environment and using the first uh, <clears throat> first command that you can use with Python. So in my case, I'm just using print hello world. And if you want to save that, just click uh, hold Control X, and it's gonna be saved. But in your case, it's gonna be a bit different because it's a for in my case, it's not a first time I have set this file. In your case, whenever you hold the Control X. Uh, it's gonna prompt you that if you would like to save this file, so you should uh, uh, you should hit Y, and after you should hit Enter. In that case, you're gonna save this file. And as you can see, that I have redirected back to my environment folder. So now we can check the Python uh, Hello Py uh, Hello Py uh, <coughs> file, which we just created. So. To check this out and see how the Python command works, you just have to type the following command: Python, uh, Python, space, the name that you created. In my case, I have created "Hello World." In your case, it could be different. So, Python hello dot pi, and whenever you click uh, hit enter, it's gonna prop you the command that you have typed it in inside of that file in our case is hello world which is the first r command on python this is pretty much it guys it was basic setup tutorial 
with the, uh, with the virtual environment for the Python on the Windows machine 10. That's it guys. Hope you now understand how you can create your virtual environment for the Python and now you can create your first program with the Python 3. And the next part, I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, understand the data types. In the next part, we're going to cover um, implementation data types native with the Python. The data types such as integral, float, boolean, string, list, uh, and so on. If you're interested, stay with us and we're going to show you that all in the next part. But if you like this, this video, don't forget to subscribe it and hit like. And I'll see you guys in the next part.